Good morning, good morning. What a beautiful day. Beautiful day here in East Tennessee. I'm back on this 1978 Chevy C10 truck that goes by the name of Papa. Uh, if you remember the other video, I've done the door jams. And all I have left, as far as I know, is I got to do the upper part of this door, the blue. If you've kept up with my videos, I'm doing a complete color change to this. Uh, Island Splash. It's by Krylon. In case you're a new person, you'll maybe can step in and see what this is all about. But I'm color matching the truck to this. The white used to be light blue. This light blue used to be, well, this bed was this color. The whole bed was this color. So I've color matched. I'm doing a complete color change. Okay, if you're interested, you can watch some of my older videos. Don't mean to repeat myself. I've got this door kind of taped up. You know, I've always been a big fan of what I call sport mirrors. The ones that sit in, you know, from the factory a little bit closer in. But since I have that camper top that goes on here, my wife and I was going to put that back on mainly because I need the space in the garage. So that's one of the reasons. I mean, I like this look. I really do. But I like the look with the camper top too. And my wife has already bought the, the old vintage uh, camper uh, light lens. Not that they're ever going to work, but it will look kind of neat on there. And we got the windows to work. That's when it, That's in one of my older videos too if you're interested in seeing it. Uh, so I'm going to keep these mirrors on and I've taped up best I can. I could take the mirrors off, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. Just put some tape on it. And if I get any paint accidentally on here, it's pretty easy to come off with some really fine steel wool. So I'm not really worried about that at this point. We'll find out though. Uh, so I'm going to try to remember as I'm looking at this door, I like this right here. I'm into patina style, so I'm going to try to remember this. And, not, and if I get any paint up here, I'll I'll get it off. Of course, I could go get some petroleum jelly and put there. That's an idea. And I'm trying to keep this part up here kind of where it, where it has actually faded the paint from the sun. I'm going to try to keep that in this surface rust spot here. Cause I, I just like that stuff. Anyway, I'll see how it goes. I, and it's... Like I said, it is morning time, and I'm not really, uh, not that I'm any good anyway, but I'm not really good at spray painting in the morning. I'm not what you'd call a morning person. I, so, anyway, we'll see what it turns out like. I just thought I'd tell you what I'm doing, and to save you some time, I've went ahead and taped up, and I was listening to the Beach Boys on the radio. So that was always, that kind of gets you going, doesn't it? I'll show you the other side real quick. This is before I put any tape on. See that it, the shade is just a little bit off. So I'm going to try to get this done. I'm going to try to get this uh, cowl in here where the wipers is at. I got to clean all that out again. Uh, and uh, I, I'm going to spray it. That'd be a lot of taping. I've got to do it before the sun gets up here, so I got to hurry up. So I'm going to get on it. And a, oh, one thing real funny before I forget it. My wife, Mrs. P.I.B., she come outside and I was taping. And she said, she was looking at this fender and she said, you know, she said, I just don't think I would do any painting on this fender. She said, it just looks really good. And I said, my dear, my dear, I said, I've already painted it. It's already done. Of course, uh, you know, she, she does it. My wife normally maybe kind of watches my videos like when she's, you know, fixing her hair or whatever. But uh, we've got some things going on here and she's not able to watch my videos much. I, I normally try to watch them at least once to see how many times I've messed up. But she hadn't seen the video or anything or she wasn't home when i done this so she didn't know so i really like that little petroleum jelly trick it really i really like that i'm going to use it again sometime so anyway i'm going to get at it hang in there with me and we'll see what it turns out like on this door 
See you in a bit. I got to thinking about what I said in the video uh, I just made about painting this door. So I went in the house and I got my friend, Mr. Petroleum Jelly, or what I, what everybody calls Vaseline. And I went ahead and put some on here because I was afraid that I might gum it up. So I, I put some Vaseline here. I, all I want really is just a hint that that it's this color and, and not this color. So I've put a little bit here where the, it's no big deal, but I just got to thinking, I thought I better do that because I, I'm not a morning person per se. And uh, it takes me, a, <laughs> takes me a while to get going good. So we'll see what it looks like hanging. Well, I got it painted and I'm going to let it dry for just a few minutes before I remove the tape and take and get my, paper towel to, to wipe the Vaseline off on the spots that I was trying to protect. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but to me it looks pretty good. I like it. There's my plane. When I make videos, most of the time, if you're wondering why I say that, uh, most of the time there's a plane that flies over every time I pick up the phone to make a video So hang in there and I'll let this dry a minute and we'll start removing the Vaseline Okay, I have got the tape off and uh, still got the Vaseline on though, so I've got me a Got me a paper towel and we'll wipe some of it off and see How bad it looks if I messed up Done pretty good, I think. So, I think that worked out pretty good. Oh, I forgot I put some here. I didn't put a whole bunch of paint on the truck. on the door because I'm hey that's perfect let me pull this door back so it'll stay in one position hopefully yeah that's good of course with a little weather being put to the truck and a little bit of a Still wool, it should turn out pretty good. You can see the other color kind of coming out, but that's okay. I put some here just for kicks. There were some scratches here. I don't know if you can... Let me stand back. I... I'm having a hard time seeing it myself. I hope you can, but there's a couple of places I put Vaseline. Let's see what it looks like, okay? That's okay. Now, well, I might have to get me another paper towel. I'll put Vaseline up here. Let's see what it looks like. Boy. That overspray gets on everything, and I'm so glad I was awake enough to go remember to put the Vaseline on because I almost didn't do that. And when it, it would have cost me a bunch more work trying to duplicate what mother nature's already done let's see and i put some up here remember this was all kind of faded white well, i don't know if you can tell much difference i'm having to kind of go easy to keep the door from shutting probably need another paper towel this one's getting kind of not doing as good as what i thought let me see i thought i had Yes, I got another one in my pocket. I think I got three out. So, we'll try this again. This is a clean paper towel. All I done on this door was kind of, I just kind of, when I was painting it, I was just kind of spritzing it, I guess, or
I think that'll be okay. Of course, you can always get like a, you know, purple power or something. And it should take the Vaseline right off. Or petroleum jelly. I keep calling it, keep calling it Vaseline, but that's what I've always called it my whole life. It's funny how you, uh, you know, like Coke or Pepsi or something. A lot of, uh, you know, even I refer to Pepsi as Coke. You know, give me a Coke or something. I don't drink Cokes, but I used to all the time. Used to drink RCs. All the time. Well... I'm gonna shut this door. Let me see if I got a little, I think I got it all off for the most part. It feels, it feels good. I mean, I got the Vaseline off and it took the paint off too. So there's none coming off my, I'm trying to show you. And you don't have to do everything I'm doing. I'm just doing this because I want to. I have fun. I'm gonna slam this door, hang on. Didn't wanna bust your eardrums. But, uh, yeah, I like it. I think it looks good. Now, as I said, like some of these spots right here where I accidentally got paint on there, not thinking, and I'll get, uh, I always say Mr. Q-Tip and Mr. Dixie Cup, and but I'll get some Rust-Oleum. What is that stuff? Maybe it's... I get this stuff right here. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you sick going around so fast. Uh, uh, what's that? Flat protective enamel. It's this color here. Uh, doesn't really say the color, does it? I guess you just go on the cap. But anyway, I put some in a Dixie cup, and I've already showed you that in other videos. Uh, and, I, and a Q-tip, and I just kind of dab and make it look like it's rust and... When it's dry, you know, I'll get something, maybe some, there's some steel wool, just maybe go over it just a hair and see what it looks like. My wife yesterday went to the store uh, and uh, I asked her to pick me up some flat black and she said I can't, she went to Walmart and she said I can't find flat black. She said they don't have any. She found this one can. And, uh, you know, I told her, I said, just get the cheapest flat black. It doesn't matter. Because what I was going to do is, uh, well, you can't see it, but I'm going to paint that plastic uh, piece in here that keeps the leaves and debris and stuff out where the wipers are at. I don't know exactly what you call it. But anyway, she, I asked her to pick me up some more of this uh, four zero steel wool. They're real fine. I really like that. It doesn't hurt anything. And uh, I asked her to pick me up a couple more of these uh, gator sanding blocks. Boy, these are the berries right here. I like these a lot. Because I got some more trucks coming in. Uh, should be any day. And I don't know when you'll be seeing this video, but it could be they're already here. So, uh, got two or three more trucks, uh, square bodies coming. And I plan on painting them as well. Or at least, I've got a plan in mind what I what I'm going to do. It, I don't think it's going to be full color changes or anything, but I'm going to be doing some painting on them and those little sanding blocks. Boy, that, I really like them. Anyway, so I, I kind of like that. Look pretty good. I'm still waiting on my paint that I need. This is Island Splash. Like I said about Walmart, it's it's hard to find paint and my wife has called everybody and even called the i forgot who she called cry on or she called some big name person uh company i mean sorry and they said they were having trouble getting the ingredients to make paint so can you believe that so my wife picked up some paint that doesn't quite match but it's rust oleum satin 
aqua because I really would like to get this bed painted so let's see I've got let's see let me see how many cans of paint I actually have okay this is this is a little bit different this is satin island splash there's four cans got two cans of this of course I still got to do the cow which I'm fixing to hit here in just a minute and uh but I was just wanting to have sears there's five of course I got one open and I've got to do the other door so that'll be six cans I'm going to try to do this bed I'd like to get it all done in one day I'm in the tailgate of course but uh, I'd like to get it all done in one day if I can so I've got this let me show you what I'm doing here uh I've got this door taped up uh, as you can see this is a good example you can see how much darker the original paint is as to what I'm using and when I was looking at the other side just now uh, you, you know I done this uh, yesterday and uh, it's got some uh, brown it's, it's kind of dull but it's from this it's the rust from this fender that I where I was sanding I don't think it's going to be quite this dark once I get anyway this door it doesn't quite match this but see I still got to sand all this so I'm hoping that it will blend in pretty good for for me it's fine uh, like I said I'm into patina style so okay I'm going to get busy on here and uh, see what I can come up with on this door I was looking for my there it is I walked right by it Va uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly I'm gonna boy I'll tell you what this piece of cardboard's been a blessing to me it's real thin and I don't have to tape up near as much but I'm gonna put some Vaseline on this right down through here uh, this has a little more uh, surface rust right here and uh, I'm just going to kind of splotch it on the paint. Well, I like this right here too. I'd like to preserve that. That looks pretty cool to me. And in this area. So I might be putting on more Vaseline. I don't know what that is, but he's wanting to watch. So I'm going to put on some more Vaseline and see what we can make this door look like. So hang in there with me, okay? I cannot remember if I showed you this or not, but I'm going to now, just in case I didn't. But I'm just putting a little bit of Vaseline on here before the sun gets here and gets all this metal really hot. I'm just putting it on my finger and just rubbing it along. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. I actually put too much on this. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing it over all the spots that have a little bit of character, I'll call it. I really like this. This is good. But like I said, don't go on what I'm doing. I have to remember that if I'm looking at something, that doesn't necessarily mean you're getting to see it. So I apologize. But all this stuff here, hang on a minute. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to get that phone call. Have you ever noticed when you don't have much money to spend on stuff at, like cars and trucks, that that's when somebody has a deal? That was one of my friends that has a deal and he thought I might be interested in it and oh my goodness oh my goodness anyway I told him I'd come by and look at it one one evening here in the next few days so oh my <laughs> that's the way it, whenever I do have a couple of bucks uh, there's nothing to be had and when you don't have any 
That's when there's all kinds, isn't it? Or that's the way it does with me. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one more spot. I was going to put a little Vaseline right in here. Not that I need to. It easily can come off uh, with a sanding block or something. Okay, I'm going to... I think I... No, I didn't put none there. I forgot where... I was trying to remember exactly where I had to answer the phone call. I'm glad I did. I got some really good friends. Really good friends. I'm really blessed to have them. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my finger, but y'all are not, so apologize for that. I'm trying to save this spot here. So anyway, let me get busy on this, uh, and uh, I'll start painting it, and we'll see what it looks like in a minute. But you can kind of see, see it's getting hotter out here. Just since I put this on, and it's already trying to kind of run. The sun's not on it yet, but when it gets on there, it's going to be it's going to be fun. So I got to get busy. I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, guys, I got it rattle canned. Uh, it looks pretty good. You know what kind of come to mind is uh, I actually thought why don't I tape up the door handle and paint this part blue? It's just a thought. I've got too much going on to be doing stuff like that, but it was a thought because it's got a like a lip right here and right here. Anyway, I thought it'd be eh, just thinking out loud. You know how you are sometimes when you're ah, thinking crazy thoughts. Okay, let's take this Vaseline off and see what it looks like underneath. Hey, I kind of like that. To me, that's all looking good, but I mean, everybody's different. Up here's what I'm really wanting to see. See what happened up here. Uh-oh. Let me open up this door where to stay waving at my neighbor hey that looks pretty good doesn't it well I like that I have to remember to move my other hand when I'm doing videos because course I can scuff it down a little more I didn't know exactly how much to put or anything I'm, I'm gonna go down this side here now and see what it looks like this is about where I had that phone call <laughs> oh and I start thinking about should I buy something else oh my goodness okay let's see hopefully this got preserved hey it did and all I got to do is wipe it off. Hey, that worked out pretty good. In my opinion. All the stuff I do is in my opinion. Don't do what I'm doing on your own thinking you're going to have success. Because my expectations and yours might be totally, totally different. I have low expectations. Kind of bearing down a little hard here, but I think that's pretty good. Of course, I can get my sanding block or whatever if I want to make this come out. I actually thought I put some Vaseline right there, but I don't think I did. But that's okay. No biggie. That phone call really messed me up. Dad, damn it, I'll be thinking about how can I do this and do that. The old saying, rob Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> I've done that all my life. It's okay, though. Could be worse. Always could be worse. I think I have an addiction. Of C10 trucks, Chevrolets in particular, and GMCs. Well, 
I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Now, let's shut the door. I'm going to shut the door so don't let it hurt your ears. Okay, I'm staying back here where I can... That looks pretty good in my opinion. I'm pretty happy with that. I haven't scuffed any of this other stuff. I know I've told y'all that a bunch. Sometimes when I take a break from a video, I can't remember what I said last. So just to err on the side of caution, I, I guess I repeat myself. So please forgive me. I'm going to hit that a little. Well, when I do start sanding and trying to let some of the patina, there's my plane again, uh, coming through, I will maybe hit some of this just a wee bit up in here and stuff. So anyway, okay, I'm going to call this done because the sun is sneaking up on me and in a less than an hour it's going to be all up in here and it's going to be hot as blue blazes. So I'm going to raise the hood, get in here and do what I can about spraying and we'll see what it turns out like. So hang in there. With, well, you know what? I think because I make such long videos, I think I'll just end it here. If I decide uh, on the editing part that I want to include this because I don't know how long this is going to take or the inside of the bed, I'll, uh, you know, I'll add it in. But more than likely, it, it might be kind of long. So in order to keep you from being so bored and getting burnt out on my videos, I'm going to end it here. But keep watching, make sure it goes all the way to the end, because I might add something else. But just in case I do end it, I'm going to say thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Also, I have another YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. And you are watching Primered as Best now. I used to have, all my vehicles used to be Primered Black. All of them. I used, all my, a lot of my old vehicles used to be Primered Black. That's why I named the channel Primer is Best, if you're wondering. But I don't have them anymore. I normally keep something a while. Even though I say I'm going to keep it forever and a day, I usually sell it because something else comes up. Just like the situation here with the phone call a while ago. So, anyway, Primer is Best is also on Instagram. And you can find Man on a Budget 1 on Instagram. And I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best. I truly do appreciate you watching the videos, and I thank you so much for your time. I thank you so much for your comments, and I hope to see you in the next video. I hope y'all will all stay safe. Have a wonderful day, and God bless y'all. The Lord's watching all of us, and we're in His care. Y'all have a wonderful day. See y'all later.